thanks for watching and today I want to evaluate a very cool integral using calculus and that integral is what's called a metallic integral and you'll see why because it's related to what's called the metallic ratios and one of them you definitely know so define the following integral let's call it phi n in fact it's a sequence of integrals if you like which is the integral from 0 to n of x over 2 times x squared plus 4 plus n plus 2 over 2n dx. So for every n, you get a certain integral, and we'll just sum all of them at the same time, because this is calculus. Okay, how do you solve this? Well, first of all, it's made out of two parts. So this part is just a constant, so if you integrate that, you get n plus 2 over 2n times n minus 0, so times n. This cancels out, and you basically get n plus 2 over 2. So this part, the point is from now on, we won't worry about this part, but we'll worry about this part. So you see a square root of x squared plus 4. This just calls for a trig substitution. So basically, x equals to 2 because we have this 4. We want something that cancels out with this 4. And moreover, we want some identity that says something squared plus 1 equals to something else squared. Well, a trig function that satisfies this is tangent. So let x be 2 tangent of theta, then dx is 2 secant squared of theta, d theta, and then the end point. So which number gives you n equals to 2? Maybe let's start with 0, sorry. Um, 0 equals to 2 tangent theta. That means theta is basically arctangent of 0, which is 0, and same, n equals to 2 tangent theta. That means tangent of theta equals to n over 2. So theta is arctangent of n over 2. And lastly, what happens with this square root of x squared plus 4, the thing we're actually, the reason why we chose this u substitution is simply x squared becomes 4 tangent squared of theta plus 4. This 4 factors out to get square root of 4 square root of tangent squared theta plus 1. Tangent squared plus 1 is secant squared so 2 square root of secant squared of theta. And basically we chose this theta such that this becomes positive. So 2 secant of theta. All right. So what happens to this integral? So phi n equals to the integral from 0 to arctangent of n over 2. Oh, so x is 2 tangent theta. The denominator is 2 square root of x squared plus 4, which becomes 2 times 2 secant theta. And you see, it's kind of nice. Then uh, dx becomes, what was it? Yeah, 2 secant squared d theta. Theta. And remember, this junk will carry along all the way, n plus 2 over 2. Okay. And we get a very nice simplification. So first of all, all the 2s, they cancel out. And one of the factors of secant cancels out. So after this big explosion, you're just left with secant times tangent. So phi n equals the integral from 0 to arctangent of n over 2. C 
secant theta tangent theta d theta plus n plus 2 over 2. And the nice thing is, this one, the antiderivative of secant theta is just secant. So you're just left with secant theta from 0 to arctangent of n over 2 plus n plus 2 over 2. So you're left with secant of arctangent of n over 2 minus secant of 0. of 0 plus n plus 2 over 2. Now, this thing you can just simplify. So, what is arctangent of n over 2? It's the angle that makes tangent to be n over 2. So basically you want opposite to be n, adjacent to be 2. Then, by the Pythagorean theorem, this becomes square root of n squared plus 4. And secant just becomes uh, opposite, so hypotenuse over adjacent. So in the end, we get square root of n squared plus 4 over 2. Secant of 0 is 1 over cosine of 0, which is 1 over 1, which is 1. And this one, now it's actually split it up to get a simplification. That's n over 2 plus 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is 1. And whoa, we get this nice simplification. So in the end, what you're left with is phi n equals to just n plus square root of n squared plus 4 over 2. And this family of numbers, those are what are called the metallic ratios. And I told you one of them is very familiar to you because if you let n equals to 1, then phi 1 becomes 1 plus square root of 1 squared plus 4, which is square root of 5, over 2. And that's what's called the golden ratio. And if you do phi 2, that is 2 plus square root of 2 squared plus 4. So uh, 4 plus 4, which is 8. 2 plus square root of 8 over 2, which you can simplify as just 1 plus square root of 2. That's what's called the silver ratio. Cool, huh? Phi 3, one more, uh, that's 3 plus 9 plus 4, which is 13. 3 squared of 13 over 2. That's called the bronze ratio. Ratio. And so on and so forth. And in fact, uh, in another future video at some point, I'll, I'll talk more about those metallic ratios. But they're really cool. They're basically uh, generalizations of the golden ratio. And they have this cool name. Sounds like Metallica. Yeah, rock and roll and phi 1, phi 2, phi 3. All right, I hope you enjoyed this little trig integral calculus metal excursion. And if you like that and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.